When I was much younger, my family would take road trips. These were often long, boring affairs of me staring out the windows for hours watching empty countryside pass me by. I would be in the car with my brothers trying to pass the time with all manner of devices that were meant to cure the inescapable boredom that dominated these long car trips. There was one time my father hooked up a power converter to a small black and white CRT TV that he then hooked up to a VCR so we could watch movies in the back seat. That was a great trip and for some reason my parents let me, a six year old at the time, watch the film Cujo. But it wasn't until we got a Game Boy did the dynamic of those trips truly change. That device was pretty amazing to me at the time. I however sucked at it, but I did enjoy watching my brothers play games because quite frankly I could never pass the first mini-boss in Mega Man, but very well could have been just a basic robot that I couldn't beat. I had friends who had Game Gears, and I thought those were pretty impressive in terms of the colors and what they offered, and that kind of brings me to what the topic of this video is, the BitBoy. The company who makes it got a hold of me and asked me if they could send me a sample in exchange for making a video review. It wasn't until I unboxed this unit that a lot of those memories started to come back to me. I honestly haven't really been into handheld gaming, and really haven't had a system that I used since those car trips very many years ago. Even when I had my Game Boy, it was pretty much reserved for those long car trips. I honestly wasn't even into Pokemon when I was a kid. But looking at this BitBoy unit, it is pretty neat. I'll let you know this is not a sponsored video, they only sent me a unit in exchange for talking about it. So this video, from here on out, is just the perspective of a guy who really doesn't do much mobile gaming. And I'll just kind of let you know what I honestly think about the unit. The first thing I notice about this unit is that it's really light, but it actually feels pretty solid for the most part. The screen on it looks great. I find the quality of the screen to be very solid. The details look really nice. The only drawback I found is probably because I'm getting old. But the games are basically Famicom or NES, basically, ports. So the characters on the screen can be kind of small depending on the title you're playing. But it's not necessarily a deal breaker. It's still a good gaming experience even with the smaller characters on screen. Because overall those pixels look really sharp. So sharp they could probably cut you. The selection of games is pretty decent. Some are Famicom games and ROM hacks, but it has a fair number of mainstream titles that I enjoyed on the NES as a kid. So I've seen some people complain about some of the games being copies of other games or just ROM hacks, but that doesn't really bother me because with this unit, it has really good versions of Mario Brothers and Mario Brothers 3, which are probably what I'll primarily play on the unit, to be honest with you. The other games don't necessarily appeal to me that much, but it does have Tetris on a number of other games that were fairly decent NES ones. Which kind of brings up the question of, um, I think these ROMs or these games are kind of an illegal gray area that allows them to put them on this unit, but I really don't know. But ultimately, they're pretty decent ports of these games to this little hand unit. Something I really like is that it can be powered by a USB battery. So for people like me who can work out in the middle of nowhere at times, it's nice to know I can actually charge this thing up in the middle of nowhere and still be able to play it if I'm bored or have time to do so. But that's just a nice little thing I enjoyed about it. The speaker on the unit can pump out a lot of sound, but that brings me to something I really don't like about the unit. I'm not sure this is a big deal to anyone else, but the unit has no headphone jack. Which, for me, was always a must for mobile gaming. I've never really liked the guy that sits in a public space blaring music or the game he's playing. So that's kind of annoying. It has an AV out, which lets you play on a TV, so I thought that was kind of a cool little thing, which led me to try and make my own little headphone adapter using a few different cords. But, however, the screen turns off and no sound would come through the adapter, so that kind of failed. But that's just ultimately the main issue I have with it, is no headphone jack. I mean, it's not a deal breaker, but it's kind of kind of weird. And then there's also a mini SD slot on the top here that, for whatever reason, there's nothing associated with it. It just kind of falls straight through. You can see the light going through, so you can't really put any extra memory on it. It's probably a design decision for future models that they'll allow SD stick compatibility with later, but I don't know. So it's kind of unfortunate that this unit's limited to 300 games, but I don't know. For what you're paying for it, I think it's okay for what you're getting. And something else that kind of wish this little system had was I wish it had more RPGs on it, like Final Fantasy or something along those lines, something that could eat up a little more time, but I don't think you'd be able to save on the system. But then something else, like the buttons are in reverse to what the Game Boy was. That takes a little bit of getting used to, so but not a huge thing. And if you're a big guy like me, your hands can get kind of cramped on this tiny small control surface, but then again I'm also a dude who liked the original Xbox controllers when they first came out, so... That's my little repertoire for how big I like controllers to be. So it's not terrible. But overall, 
for a guy who doesn't really get into mobile gaming at all. This isn't a bad unit for what they're asking for, which their market value, I guess, is $39.99. Even though the unit doesn't have any actual Game Boy games on it, it still gave me a good little bit of nostalgia from all those road trips so many years ago. Hey, thanks for watching Historic Nerd today. So this is kind of a little more different of a video I've ever done. Um, they kind of offered the product to me. I guess they're doing a thing where they're offering 20% off until Christmas or something along those lines. So I'll put all that information down in the bottom of the description here if you're interested in picking this little unit up. I thought it was pretty fun. Uh, I'm not paid by them or anything. I just thought it was a neat little unit that they sent me. So I just want to thank you guys for watching and have yourselves a wonderful day, evening or night, or whatever you're doing. Bye.